hemolytic uremic syndrome. The way they like to test this on USMLE is they'll have a child with HUS. They'll say that they might have some acute kidney injury. They're definitely going to have anemia and thrombocytopenia which, by the way, is a deficiency of the platelets in the blood. And that causes bleeding into the tissues and bruising and slow blood clotting after injury. But the coagulation studies are going to be normal. But you're going to see these schistocytes on the smear. They look like that. They're fragmented red blood cells. And they're going to ask you, hey, what is causing the anemia? And the key word is the schistocytes. These are the red blood cells that are being physically shredded in small blood vessels. And this mechanism is called microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. M-A-H-A. Now, typically, and what's high yield to know about this guy is Shiga toxin from E. coli damages these endothelial cells. And then you get small clots that form in these tiny blood vessels, and the red blood cells get sliced as they pass through. Ouchies. And that causes hemolytic anemia. And so the platelets get used up, and that causes thrombocytopenia, and the kidneys get clogged, and that causes renal failure. And this is different than autoimmune hemolytic anemia. That's where antibodies destroy the red blood cells, and you do not see schistocytes there. They're also going to try to get you with EPO deficiency. That happens in chronic kidney disease and that causes low red blood cell production. Does not cause schistocytes. They might try to get you with other things like oxidative stress. They might throw a G6PD deficiency at you. But that causes bite cells. And we're not going to fall for that, are we? No. Also, you wouldn't have renal failure there. You wouldn't have thrombocytopenia there. And lastly, they'll try to get you with something like, they might say bone marrow, bone marrow fibrosis. And bone marrow fibrosis causes teardrop cells. And that's a problem with the red blood cell production, not the destruction. If you found this helpful for HUS, then be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video.